All right, so this is uh, my Ancient Magic, the card game. Uh, a digital card game. That's a concept I'm trying to work on. Creating a card game engine that, you know, you'll be able to create your own card game. I already have my own card game, so I'm gonna use it as the, as a test model to help me build the engine, of course. That way, one, I have the, the, the digital card game version of my game. And then, of course, um, I can make the source code for the engine available to other people, so that way they can create their own uh, car game. You know, pretty much like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, Death Pro, you know, stuff like that. So that'd be cool. You know, some people might use this to do their own version of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and Death and uh, like Vanguard Pro or car fight area whatever you know they'll take a card game that already exists and then just you know digitize it basically create a digital version of it so that way they could play whenever they want to play with their computers or if they create a phone version you know I mean, if they take it up that far but basically be able to play on their computer be able to play with friends and whatnot to the use of the internet or bluetooth link syncing and you know whichever way methods I come up with making this available for that so right, right here is the main menu you know I'm, um, I know some stuff I'm learning the other stuff of course so I'm taking what I already know you know the simple concept that I that I know on how to do certain things using that as my base for designing and building this and then I add on from going online you know Google searches YouTube searches you know learn as much as I can um, improve over time. Uh, right now, it's just a simple concept. Obviously, they just just a form with a background image. You got four buttons. This one has nothing, but you know, it's like let me go edit the deck. So I click the deck edit button, and there you go. Make a pull screen, and there you go. And I can just start building decks. You know, putting your spells and traps and stuff like that, basically. And then you're able to see the card in full size over here. Be able to load, save, clear the clear, make a new deck, save your deck, you know, load it, all the good shit, and of course here's the card database of all the cards that are currently available. I was thinking of putting the text of the card, so when you highlight the card, the text information of the card will appear here. But since there's only but so much space on the card um, effects, you know, card, you see how the effects are pretty simple. Like I don't even use up the whole entire effect box just to put the effects of the card. So it's a simple game. It's modeled after Yu-Gi-Oh, but with uh, slight inspiration from Magic. Mainly trying to make it where this is not a children's card game type thing. You know, where some people try to use that excuse. What's well, a children's card game? It's like, no, it's, it's a card game. It's just a card game. And I mean. We're all just big children anyway. No matter how old you get, you're still a child. So, as you can see, nice little you know, images. Some very sexual adult. Obviously, this is my solemn warning and this is my solemn judgment. There's a continuous trap, counter, counter trap basically continuous normal trap you get the idea and the same goes for the spells these are all normal spells here except for this one this is a quick play spell basically the the concept the mechanics are a lot like Yu-Gi-Oh except I try to take out a lot of the imperfections of Yu-Gi-Oh the stuff that makes it you know complex you know if a card says you know you can negate a special summon of a monster then that's it it can negate a special summon of a monster Ain't no conditions where it's like it can only stop inherit summon special summons or something like that, or assisted special summons like special summon from a card effect. If the monster is special summoned by a card effect, you can negate that. You can't negate a monster that can just summon itself by itself, you know, that, that type of shit. And the whole if and when thing, always, you know, I hate that. It's just stupid. It should just be period. If this card, since it says when this card goes to the graveyard, you should get, you know, get the effect then that's it, you should get the effect. I hate the whole like, because of you can and all that stuff. 
and like you gotta really look at the words and try to you know, understand. It's like, um, and this is supposed to be a children's card game, and you have to like look at pronunciations and punctuations and stuff like that. You know, you gotta you gotta look at wordplay in order to understand a lot of these cards and the interaction with some of these cards. And then there's some effects. They're not even effects, so you can't even skill drain them. That makes no sense then. I like, wait a minute. Why is this monster have an effect? But it's not an effect. You can't negate it. It's a static effect. So it's like, then why don't you come up with a symbol or a word or just actually type static effect? You know what I mean? So that way people know that, all right, this is just a rule of, of Yu-Gi-Oh. This monster has a rule in the game. And the rule is, it can never be used for synchro summon of any monster other than Majestic, for example. You know what I mean? Like Majestic Dragon, the tuner, is like, it can only be used for synchro summon of a Majestic monster. That's not an effect. That's a rule. That's just something you, you have to do. You can't change that. You can't negate that. And it's like, well then it's not really an effect, it's a rule. Why don't you just make make it different? Why don't you write that it's a rule or an effect? You know, a static effect. I like the term static effect. That implies that it's not an effect that can be negated. It's a rule. Well, you could just write rule and then it'd be obviously. The rule of this card is blah, blah, blah. That way we all understand it cannot be negated because it's not an effect. You know, and then there's summonings that are conditions while other summonings are effect. Like Dragon Rulers, for example, those are effects. But not summoning conditions like Black Luster Soldier. You know what I mean? Remove Light and Dark is a summoning condition. Not an effect. Bouncing a Dark Rope to your hand for Grappa, that's, an, that's a summoning condition. Not an effect. But discarding a Machine Monster, you know, level 8 and higher, to bring back Rocky the Fortress, that is an effect. You know what I mean? So it's like kind of weird how some cards have similar, you know, conditions of summoning per se, where you have to do something in order to summon them, but there's a difference. One is an effect, that one's actually a condition. And that's weird. Since when you look at both monsters, they both are what? Effect monsters. Whatever is in the 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 text box, the, the effect box, whatever you want to call it, ain't that supposed to be the effect? Whatever's written on there is what? An effect. It's the ability of the card. How is it different? It's an effect monster. You know what I mean? It's already confusing. Some people have trouble understanding Geminis. You know, how to properly Gemini summon. You know what I mean? How that works. You know, that was a big confusion right there. I mean, I I got it real quick, but it was stupid once I figured out what how it worked. It's like, really? That's just dumb. I summon and then I have to wait a whole turn and then say I summon again or Gemini summon the next turn so I have to give up a norm my normal summon the next turn to get this monster to be an effect, uh, have an effect. It's like, interesting concept, no one really cares. It's not like one of the greatest mechanics in the game. It's like, it's not a big deal. The idea of the monster counting as a normal monster on the field in a graveyard or in the deck in the graveyard that has that has some use that's some a mechanic that we would like but the whole you know you, it's a normal monster until you gemini something it's like oh, that's just dumb and then i don't even see that gemini thing in like synchros or ritual monsters or xyz's it's like what's the point of that gemini type if you can't just throw it on anything you know what i mean just like it was interesting when you saw a tuner on a normal monster so that, that was a little interesting. But you can do whatever you want, right? Anyway. Imagine a normal monster that counts as an effect monster. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be interesting. Because it will apply, you know, as a normal monster. But while face up on the field, it'll be an effect monster, for example. So whatever cards you can use on an effect monster while face up a field, you know, you can do. Or it has double type, where it's both normal and effect, you know what I mean? So forth, so forth. Anyway, this is not about Yu-Gi-Oh, this is about Ancient Magic, the digital card game. So as you can see so far, I do, you know, have the deck editor so far. I don't, I don't have any of these working yet. The ability to save and load. Uh, I'll be working on the save feature next. Well, the save and load, obviously, they go hand to hand save and then be able to load to make sure that it, it the save file works and it's worth something so let's exit out of there versus mode 
still gotta work it out, you know, like, seems pretty good so far, you know what I mean? Because here's your spot, here's your opponent, so, pretty much how it'll look like when you bat on your opponent, here's his deck zone, here's yours, field zone, extra zone, you know, graveyard, back roll, monster zones, obviously here's more from play zones, you know, you get the idea, it's not that different from Yu-Gi-Oh! But, you know, there's some significant difference because I'm trying to take out the imperfections of Yu-Gi-Oh! The stuff that makes it complicated. I also want to reduce the ban list, as it were. Like, the idea of a ban list is like, there's a problem if you have to ban or limit cards that you created, you know, and whatnot. I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have a ban list. There's no point. It's a waste of time creating something if you're just going to make it where no one can even use it. So, that's one of the things. You know, you, you learn from different things. And I like Yu Gi Oh! Uh, there's certain aspects of it that needs fixing that I don't like. But I can't do nothing about that. But what I can do is create my own card game which doesn't have those mistakes. Or at least if I do accidentally make the same mistake as them. I can always fix it because I'm the creator, right? And as you can see, this is what I got so far. I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm impressed <laughs> that I I, have, I I got I got that I got this far. You know, that I have this ability so far. So it's like this is a really good start, and it was actually pretty simple to do, ironically. And that's the end of the video. Thank you.